Yo, it's your boy Perplex. How y'all feeling? <laughs> oh my God, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Microsoft got some kind of, I don't know what to call it, but they got some kind of love affair for these first person shooters, man. I mean, why is every presentation they have based around some games that's first person shooters or space type of, you know, genre games? I know I sound like an idiot right now the way I'm describing the games, but you know, you gotta forgive me, I'm on the roll. I just wanna talk about the presentation. The presentation was good, you know, they but they could do better, man. Like, okay, and then I seen it, I seen the chats. I seen the chats, man, on the Halo. It was about two hundred thousand people in the chat, man. So it's let me know that Microsoft is doing very well, but <laughs> people was clowning that Halo. They <laughs> you have people in the comment section talking about Yo, man, that look like PS2 graphics. That look like 360 graphics. But they, but they killed me with the PS2 graphics. I'm like, man, come on, man. It don't look that bad. It don't look like no next-gen stuff, you know, but it looks like, you know, 360. But, hey, 360 was a beast. And for the record, for the record, you can only do so much when it comes to you displaying something on YouTube. You can't get the full, you know, specific display when you're looking through YouTube. You know what I mean? You got to get a full feel of it by being in person, looking at the game, man. But it looked dope. It don't like no other Halo that I never played before. I mean, it looked like every other Halo is what I'm trying to say. So tell me what y'all think about that. Fantasy Star Online 2 Remake. That looks pretty dope. Ain't coming out to sometime next year. But it looked dope. That's what I'm saying, man. Where's the launch titles at, man? I don't know. Y'all going to have to tell me. Uh, but, okay, Dragon Quest is dope, too. But we already got it on our PS4. We already got it on our Switch. We already got it. We already got it. You know what I mean? But I'm glad they're starting to get that Japanese support. You know, they, uh, they're they at least trying to. Game Pass is going to be very successful. It sounds like they're starting to give, they're going to they're gonna be getting it. That's what Phil Spencer said. This is what I got from it. They're going to be starting to give more games for free. It used to be all first-party games they're going to be given for free. Now, you know, it seems like they're going to be giving virtually every new game that comes out, giving it to us on Game Pass for free. I mean, I can see that because Microsoft, if you guys don't know, they own a lot of studios now. So I knew it was a matter of time before they started having more grip on the developers and stuff and being able to give us more content for free, which is a good thing. But as far as, like, their first parties, it looked trash. They got this old, the, like a lot of the, and a lot of the games that's not first-person shooters. A lot of the other games, the others, they look like Pixar type of man. They all got that same kind of graphics, man. It's like I don't get it, man. I don't get it, man. I don't see a lot of variety in their games, man. It's just like they're too focused on this first-person shooter stuff, man. I understand every now and then you want to drop some FPS, but man, like. 90% of your games you got on your presentations are first-person shooters, man. It's a problem with that, man. I have a problem with that. I'm being real. You know, so let's see what Sony going to do. I mean, these companies are getting comfortable with giving us okay products. And we're just jumping for joy because there's something so new. Oh, my God, it's new. Yeah, we got to get it. I got to get it. Man, look, you can get it. I'm not spending $600, $700 probably with tax on something you got to have at least three games that I'm going to want to play. I only see games that certain people want to play. But I don't see games catered to everybody. I don't. I really don't, man. What's going to happen? I'm, I'm perplexed here to make this call. I don't want to hold y'all up. What's going to happen is <laughs> Nintendo, with that underpowered system of theirs, is going to bust their ass again. And when I say they talking about Microsoft and Sony. They're going to bust them up again. The only reason Sony won this console war this time is because they got blessed and dropped that mug you know, four years earlier than the uh, the Switch. They had to drop the Switch at the same time as the PS4 and Xbox One. They would have, man, it wouldn't even been close. Because the Switch did that well. 
they already at what 60 million consoles sold right now and they just came out three years ago you do the math at that trajectory at that trajectory i got gum on my mouth i'm sorry uh at that certain speed at that rate they the blue my the ps4 out the water i mean they just sold so many consoles so fast you know so there's no way sony would have won they came out way sooner than the switch that's the only way they won but nintendo's gonna win again with a super underpowered console because they're gonna have the games they're gonna have the they're gonna have the support the graphics are still gonna be pretty and they're gonna just dominate man they're gonna just dominate and i think a lot of people are gonna be smart this time around a lot of people are gonna be smart and they're gonna say well well look the, the games look okay because i'm just going by what i see in the comment section i'm going by what i see in the chats the people are going to say, look, man, you know, this game look okay, but I ain't finna spend 70 bucks on this game. I'm damn sure not finna spend $600 on the console that I'm not really going to play. I mean, I still got my PS4 Pro. I still got my Xbox One X that I just bought two years ago. Man, you know, I'm going to just lay down on those. Because a lot of those games are still coming out on current-gen consoles, which are still pretty powerful, as I may say. But this your boy Perplex. You heard it from me. That's my take. I give it a... I give it a D, man. I give the presentation a D. You know, uh, A being the highest, E being the lowest score you can get, but I give it a D, man, because they don't have a lot of variety. They did the same crap that they did a couple months ago when they dropped their first presentation. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all, man. The Fantasy Star would have saved it, but it ain't coming out to next year. Lord knows when next year. We got 12 months in a year. How am I going to know when it's coming out? Dragon Quest, I mean, that's nice for them, but... Only reason they're giving they're getting the D man is because of the game pass about to get ready to kick some ass and the X and the X Cloud is gonna be really nice too. Um They're gonna be doing some work with Samsung, but it's not gonna be a merger or a partnership. So uh you know, it's something that's gonna be bonding for years on end, so we'll see where that goes. If they do something with Samsung and start trying to, you know, and Samsung works with them with the consoles and giving them I don't know how Samsung can really help them except for in the mobile market. Tell me what y'all think. It's your boy Perplex. Cerebral Cortex Reviews. I'm out.